psychological assessments about people according to how they drive. It really helps. Like, people who won't let you in will never let you in. <laughs> They're dark, evil people. Stop rolling up to their windows, begging them for acceptance. They hate you. <laughs> Very true, Amy. That was comedian Ida Rodriguez in her new special, Fighting Words. It's part stand-up, part travel documentary. Please welcome Ida. First of all, Ida, thank you for joining us, and congratulations. This is your first big special. And I have to say, I love what you posted on social media. You said, I'm one of those people that rides up and down, gazing at the billboards, never believing that I could ever be one of them. And you say, I was right. I'm not one, I'm on five. So when you saw that billboard, I can only imagine. What was that feeling like? Oh man, um, a dream come true. You know, the billboards are a big deal in Los Angeles. Uh, you talk about someone who was homeless, living in a Best Western, looking up at those billboards and never believing that I could be on one. So it just, it was a big deal for me and my kids and we were like jumping up and down <laughs> in the street. <laughs> That's incredible. You have come a long way, Ida, and you use your comedy to address really weighty topics, identity, family, heritage. That's a, that's a delicate balance to strike. How do you do it? Find the right balance between funny and serious. I have to sit down with myself before I tell the joke and ask myself, what's the intention? Like, what do I want to do? Do I want to bring people together through laughter? Um, I think that a lot of times when I sit with myself and I do that, I can find the balance. I, I think that uh, so many things are divisive right now. I really want to use my comedy to, to promote some healing, and everything that I do comes from that. Yeah, we all need that humor. We need that healing. So the first time you ever tried your hand at stand-up, you were a huge success. But then the next time, you say you completely <laughs> bombed. I explain the nuanced challenges here. Is it safe to say that comedy is not as easy as you make it look? No, it's not easy. It's not as easy as anyone makes it look. It's a, you know, it's a skill. It's a science. It's something you have to work at. And that first time you get on stage, the adrenaline takes over and quite you're you're naturally funny and you know do what you do with your friends. And I think the audience gives you a pass. But that second time that I got on stage, the audience said my pass had worn out. <laughs> and, uh, Ida, of course, a big moment in your career was the chance to be a part of Robert De Niro's 2016 movie, The Comedian. And is this true? Your phone's roaming charges almost actually stood in the way of all of that. Well, what's the backstory here? Um, actually, I, I was in Israel and um, I got a phone call from Taylor Hackford. And I didn't know, I didn't know it was Taylor Hackford because he just casually, he was like, Ida is Taylor. <laughs> and um, I need to talk to you about this movie that I'm doing. And I was like, Taylor, my phone is roaming. Can you call me back on the thing? <laughs> <laughs> and, Hold on uh, a second. <laughs> well, but it all worked out. It was, and I, when I, I got I, back. No, 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 you sorry. go ahead. No, no, I said when I landed and I turned my phone on, that was the first phone call that I had. And we laughed about it and, uh, you know, the rest is history. It's I a, love you, Taylor. <laughs> it's a good story. On a more serious note, though, Ida, you're a divorced mom. You have two adult children, Omar and Akela, And obviously the three of you have been through some tough times together. What do you hope moms in particular take away from your story? As you said, homeless looking up at the billboards and you're out here grinding, making your dreams come true. Well, um, I've always believed that children are observational learners. And one of the things that they walk away with in this particular situation is that I, they never saw me give up. And even at moments, you know, they have very distinct personalities. My kids um, each show up in a different way. I thought about quitting. I told my son, he said, if you quit, my hero dies. I told my daughter wow. and she said, you made us go through all of this for nothing. <laughs> you are not allowed to quit. Well, so yeah. th those, are my <laughs> those are my heroes. But you know what? Um, they know that I believe in something and I think mothers are precious. We are, we are sacrificial lambs. We give up so much. I believe that if I honored my children that God would honor me and and you know I just encourage moms to 
to dream and to believe, uh, and they need to be championed all the time. Well, Amen, you are certainly Amanda. setting an amazing example. Ida, thank you for joining us, and congratulations. Fighting Words is streaming now on HBO Max. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.